everyone, welcome back to Danielle's Tube and today I thought I'd do something that you see a lot on the internet and that is cut open your old dirty beauty blender. I've had this beauty blender for a while and it's all ripped, ripped everywhere, it's really disgusting but now I've brought two more new beauty blenders I'm going to cut it open as this one's getting a little bit old and a little bit disgusting. So let's cut this open and see what's inside. Also, I've got another one that I haven't used for a while and I left dirty just to see how much foundation gets inside your beauty blender and causes bacteria and stuff just to wipe back on your face, even after you've washed it. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first beauty blender I'm going to cut open is the Real Techniques one. So yeah, it's very dirty. So let's have a look. We're just going to cut it straight in half. Okay, so as you can see, inside we have still some foundation, which that's actually really disgusting. Oh, we've got just a hole going right through here. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh no. There's a hole. Ew! Can anyone see that? I'm not sure that is, but that's really disgusting. I think it's just like where the foam has broken. It's just all just just germs. So let's see, let's cut it again. We cut it this way. Okay, so the bottom half of the beauty blender is pretty clean because I don't, um, I'll use that bit, but I won't use that as much as I use the flat side of it. So yeah, the bottom half's pretty clean. Pretty much still full of foundation, not full, but you know, it does have a lot of foundation products still in there. So yeah, that's the first one. And the second one, this is a cheap eBay one. Um, I had this a while and I just thought, right, I'm going to leave it to do a video and then I totally forgot about it. So now I'm doing the video. So let's cut this one straight in half. Okay, so inside, pretty clean still. So let's cut this top bit in half again. Okay, so there is some foundation still on the outside of it, but the inside is still pretty clean. And then we cut this one again. I see it on videos, it's like, oh, there's a bug in my beauty blender, and I'm just like, ew. And it sort of did creep me out for a little while to actually use a beauty blender, because I was like, oh, I wonder if that's actually like, I don't know. It just freaks me out, the point that there could be a bug in my beauty blender and I'm rubbing it all over my face. So I'll cut it in half again and that one was pretty clean as well even though the foundation was left on the outside. So yeah. So if you haven't been to my channel before and you haven't seen any videos and you enjoyed this video, this video not this video, <laughs> please make sure to subscribe, comment down below on anything you want to see give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell. I really, really appreciate all your time for taking time to watch, comment, and everything like that. 